Hey everyone! Today we're diving into a super cool book called Atomic Habits by James Clear. It's all about making tiny changes that lead to big results. Let's start at Chapter 1, The Power of Tiny Changes. In this chapter, James speaks about how tiny changes starts to make big difference. He said that small habits can make a huge impact over time. Imagine adding one tiny brick each day. Eventually, you'll have a massive wall. Think about it, the most successful people don't necessarily have extraordinary abilities or resources. What they do have, however, is a commitment to making small improvements on a daily basis. It's about the compound effect of small actions taken consistently over time. So, the next time you feel overwhelmed by the magnitude of your goals, remember this. Success is not a big leap into the unknown. It's a small, consistent step in the right direction. As James Clear puts it, If you can get 1% better each day for one year, it multiplies by itself over time. The chapter 2 of the book is about understanding how habits work is the key to mastering them. Every habit we form has four fundamental parts. Q, craving, response, and reward. The Q is the trigger that sets the habit in motion. It's like the spark that ignites the flame. Next, we have the craving. This is the desire to act, the internal pull that guides us towards the habit. Then comes the response. It's the action we take, the habit itself. Finally, there's the reward. This is the payoff, the satisfaction or pleasure we get from performing the habit. Understanding this cycle, this habit loop, is crucial. It's like having a roadmap to our behaviors. It can help us pinpoint where we might be going wrong and what changes we need to make. By tweaking these elements, we can transform harmful habits into beneficial ones. By understanding the habit loop, we can take control of our behaviors and steer them towards our desired outcomes. Watch until the end of the video, there will be bonus tip. If you like this kind of content, let us know by hitting the like, subscribe, and notification bell, so you don't miss out on our videos being made every day. We are eager to share our knowledge, so more can benefit from it. Now the third chapter is all about the four simple laws to change any behavior. James Clear explains that, these are the fundamental principles that, when applied, can help us establish good habits and break bad ones. Firstly, we have to make it obvious. This law is about clarity. We need to be clear about what we want to change. For instance, if you want to start running in the morning, lay out your running gear the night before. It's all about creating an environment that makes your intentions crystal clear. The second law states that you have to make it attractive. This one is about motivation. It's crucial to make your new habit desirable. If you find the habit enjoyable or rewarding, you're more likely to stick with it. So, try to attach a positive emotion to your new habit. Maybe you can listen to your favorite podcast while running, making the process more enjoyable. Thirdly, we have to make it easy. This law is about reducing friction. The simpler it is to do, the more likely you'll do it. Start small, break down your habit into manageable, smaller steps, and gradually build it up. If running for 30 minutes seems too daunting, start with 5 minutes. Over time, as you get comfortable, gradually increase the duration. Lastly, on the four laws is we have to make it satisfying. The final step of habit formation is the reward. This is what reinforces the habit and makes it stick. So find a way to release that reward hormone dopamine flowing. Think of it as if you run and keep your weight in a healthy number. You help yourself by having the right to eat all the mouth-watering food that you fantasize once in a while without worrying, like a maintenance. Now you see the point I'm getting at, right? By applying these four laws, we can make good habits inevitable and bad habits less possible. They act as guidelines on our journey of self-improvement, helping us make tiny changes that can lead to big results without so much pressure in doing it. So let's start making those changes today and destroy that procrastination. On the fourth chapter, the author pointed out that our environment and the people around us significantly influence our habits. This statement bears a profound truth that we often overlook. The spaces we inhabit, the people we keep, the things we watch and listen to, our factors play a major role in shaping our habits and behaviors. Your family, friends and colleagues, the movies you watch, the music you listen to, their habits, their routines, their attitudes, they all stick on us, subconsciously influencing our own thoughts, actions and reactions. When we surround ourselves with individuals who embody the habits we aspire to adopt, we're more likely to stick to those habits. It's like having a workout buddy. 
You're motivated to hit the gym because your friend is expecting you there. Their commitment fuels your own. But it's not just about people. Our physical environment too affects our habits. A cluttered desk might discourage you from working, while a clean, well-organized space can boost your productivity. Surrounding ourselves with the right influences can significantly enchance our journey and over time, builds better habits and making the right choices every time. For the bonus tips, let's talk about some advanced tactics for mastering your new habits. Imagine if you could link a new habit to something you already do. This is called habit stacking. For example, working out in the gym or doing some exercise while reading your favorite book or watching that movie that you really want. It is an excellent strategy to integrate new habits into your routine seamlessly. Next, we have the three minutes rule. If something takes less three minutes, do it now. But if the task will take longer time, have it in a to-do list, but do not put in deadlines to avoid stressing yourself out in the end. Procrastination is the habit's worst enemy. This rule is a fantastic way to kickstart new habits and keep the momentum going without adding extra pressure in you. Remember, Atomic Habit is all about making the process of habit formation easier and more efficient. James Clear reminds us that the goal is not perfection but continuous improvement. We humans are a creature of habit. Every day provides a new opportunity to be better than we were yesterday. If successful people can do it, and so can you. We hope you liked our summary of the book and learned from it. Stay awesome, and see you on our next video.